Okay, so we have here sap green and yellow ochre. So we're gonna mix, just take some sap green and yellow ochre and mix them together. And we're just gonna put the greens in here. So apparently it looks like there's, there are some pots hanging, but, oh, maybe, maybe go darker. Go a little bit darker first. Actually, let's go a little bit darker first. So no, no sap, no um, yellow ochre. One more, right here. And a, another one. Oh, this goes all the way down. Okay. Round brush or, or, a, or a flat brush, it'll work. Both will work. Okay, one more. I'm gonna take yellow ochre and start highlighting a bit. That's perfect. Yellow ochre is the perfect color to highlight in. You know what? I'm going to change my brush. This is not working. Like a, a flat one. And use the corner. Again. This is really easy now. It's, it's just kind of blending colors or layering colors. You know those uh, these plants are softening a lot of the harsh walls. Good. Good. Fluff them up a bit. Okay, let's start. So for skin tone, I'm gonna use burnt sienna and white. And I think we'll be fine with these two colors. If anything, we have yellow ochre, we can add some yellow ochre to that. So that's the first, first stage is first layer. Well, actually it needs a bit of white in here. Okay. It's 
stuck a triangle in here where his fingers are. Just a kind of a, and you will see it more once we start highlighting. So let's put this layer and then take another one more of, you know, put yellow again with burnt sienna. Not much, not a lot of yellow. It's good that we're working on black. Okay, more. This burnt sienna is transparent. It's orangey, but it's transparent. Okay, then. Okay, good. We're gonna let it dry. It's lifting a bit, so I'm gonna let it dry. Meanwhile. Okay. Um, highlighting the arms, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. So I mixed burnt sienna, white, and I put a bit of yellow ochre in my burnt sienna, just a bit. And we're gonna um, highlight just part. I mean, not the whole arm. We get here. And then, Okay, I'm gonna need burnt umber. Such a very small amount of burnt umber. Uh, mix it with the same mixture we're doing right now. And I'm gonna just, oh, sorry. Just darken part of the arm because this is too flat right now. Lower part of the arm and over here and th where the, the fingers are. So where the fingers are, I'm drawing, I'm, I'm darkening with burnt umber and it's, uh, it's a triangle. Just think about it as a triangle. This is very, very small size, so we don't really need to worry about having it look realistic. It's not gonna happen. Okay, now let's go back. <clears throat> so I put a bit of burnt umber where the shadow is, bottom of the arm, side, and now And now I'm gonna take, actually, I'm gonna put just burnt umber again, a bit of burnt umber in here and down here. And now I'm gonna take my highlighted burnt sienna and I'm just gonna put a bit of highlight here. And right up here. And a bit, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna follow exactly what I'm seeing there in the pic, in the reference. I'm just gonna kind of make a, a suggestion of a hand. Yeah. 
we don't need more than that. soften those browns because you know with acrylics it dries darker so i always have to adjust my values Hat, yellow ochre. I'm gonna put white in it. So it's 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 white in there, but not white, but light, very light. So we can get to that light color, but slowly. Gonna see to yellow ochre. Not too light for first. So I'm using yellow ochre and white, but it's not very light. I mean, I'm not worried because this is, um, change glasses. It's gonna dry darker because of the black, which is perfect because we can use that dark color as a shadow. Right. Perfect, okay. Now, I'm gonna add a bit of white into my yellow ochre. And that will give me a perfect uh, highlight of the hat. And then I'm going to put some highlight in here. Let's keep the back darker. Much more, uh, it's nicer than having the whole thing white or light.
Now I just have to go a bit darker, clean my brush, take yellow ochre again, touch of the burnt umber, very small amount, and, and, and put the color right here, right in here. Let's take That's good. We'll put the red ribbon around this once we start working on his shirt, because we're going to use red with the shirt. OK. Um, now, cadmium red medium, and we're using a bit of burnt umber to darken it. And we're going to do the stripes. Doesn't matter if we do the stripes, the white or the red first, it doesn't matter. We can start with one color. I'm just following what I'm seeing on the, in the, uh, Reference. Okay, some in there in the back back sleeve and front. Okay. So the the red is mixed with burnt umber because we want to start with dark color. And then we can highlight areas where it, there's more light in there. Let's put some here on him, the bottom part. Well, this red is going to make a big difference. OK, um, a ribbon on his hat. OK, right here. And in the back. Okay, now I'm going to switch to white. The white is mixed. It has a this white, the white on his shirt has a bit of red. So I'm going to take the red I'm using and it's like a light, light, very light pink. And a bit of burnt umber because the shirt is not 100% white. This, the, the stripes of the white. If we start with a strong white, then we don't have room to, to highlight. Okay, I think we need a bit of more burnt umber in here with our uh, pink. And now, let's do some stripes in here. It doesn't really have to be exactly the same. Okay. 
Okay. That's good enough. I can see the red a little bit more better now. I can see this, the... Okay. Now, this, while this is drying, I'm gonna go back to my red. And um, this time I'm gonna use stronger red. So just red by itself, cadmium red medium by itself. And I'm just gonna highlight some areas in here where there's light in there, strong, uh, right here, right here. Oh. And you see where the hat, the hat is casting a shadow over here on this side here, there's like a half a circle. So I'm going to just highlight around it. And it's going to have the same thing with the white in a minute. So we're going to do the same with the white we're using. Actually, you see the highlights more with the, uh, with the white. I'm going to add more white to my um, original color, which is white, very, very small amount of red and burnt umber. I'm going to add more white now. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to just make it more liquidy and then go back and highlight part of the shirt. Again. Okay. 